Dear children and friends, I am your Chittaluri Yesu. Today I am going to explain about the lesson What is my name? which is in 8th unit of 10th class textbook. Okay friends, so this is an extraordinary story written by the famous story writer P. Satyavati Ma'am. I am really lucky enough to meet Mistress P. Satyavati and also I am very fortunate uh, to participate uh, in certain literary meetings along with her where I had rendered my poetry in Telugu. So further, I feel proud. And I am very much acquainted with uh, Mr. S. P. Satyavati Ma'am. She is living in Vijayawada city in Andhra Pradesh. And I even uh, I participated along with her in meetings in Hyderabad. So for that purpose, I feel proud and uh, I feel uh, it's my uh, fortunate thing in my life as a poet and writer. So before going to now about the lesson, what is my name? Let us know about a few things uh, about the author, about the writer of this uh, lesson, P. Satyavati Ma'am. P. Satyavati Ma'am is one of those writers who have brought feminism to the peak in Telugu literature. She has brought feminism to the peak level in Telugu literature. Feminism, where women's nib, she, she explains, she focuses uh, mainly on women's nib. What are the rights and responsibility of, of the women? And uh, what are the rights uh, women have? Uh, where they should stand on their own in the society? So she has given a beautiful voice in this regard. Uh, so where she very much wanted uh, the women's liberty in the society. That's what uh, she has brought uh, feminism to the peak uh, in the new literature means. Though she is a retired English lecturer, she has great understanding of uh, the Telugu accent and the idiom of the respective regions. Actually, she is uh, an English lecturer. Though she is an English lecturer, she has great outstanding, understanding, outstanding performance in Telugu literature. And she has a great understanding of Telugu accent and the idiom of the respective regions also. So that's what she has been famous for. And she is adept in portraying human experience universally. She is very much habituated, she is very much talented in portraying human experience universally also. The technique of appealing to the readers by weaving the story wonderfully with a philosophical touch and theological aspect is her fault. The very skill of uh, Satyavati ma'am is uh, she uh, knits the story in a beautiful manner and in an attractive manner and her story definitely makes readers think a lot about uh, the society. That's what she's been uh, famous for. She has published four anthologies of uh, short stories. Four anthologies of uh, short stories she has published and also she has published five novels and a collection of essays. She has won a number of prestigious awards. Number of prestigious awards she has won. The story, What is My Name? It's originally published as this is the original version of the story in Telugu literature and it's been translated into English with the very title What is my name? In 1990, this story has come out and it's been translated into English 
not only in english into almost all the south indian languages and hindi also this story has been translated that's what uh, the story has been famous for so dear children before going on to learn the lesson let us move on to glossary here glossary goes on like this swab what does it mean clean dexterous meaning skillful sumptuous meaning luxurious and splendid mopping means cleaning washing perturb meaning bother disturb or trouble daubing meaning the act of spreading a substance such as mud the clay next one immerse means absorb oneself in something next giggling means laughing nervously next frantically means worriedly anxiously next maternity home which means hospital for deliveries next porch which means dehydrate incognito which means having a concealed identity next fish which means search so this is glossary dear friends and children you should uh, uh, learn all the meanings of this uh, these new words which are hard words then only uh, you can easily uh, understand our lesson what is my name okay please keep this in your mind dear children and friends let's move on to the lesson with the title what is my name written by mistress p satyavati actually in the story the other writer satyavati ma'am focuses a women a woman's nib a woman's liberty and she totally tries to explain to us the woman's identity in fact to say as a matter of fact every individual in the society should have his or her own identity but people particularly women have lost their identity coming to this stories situation even in my childhood days i had also experienced it women particularly had no identity at all meaning 30 years ago how the people generally the people used to be identified with their names but it was not like that earlier times not they they are not identified with their own names they are identified they were identified with somebody's names if one person has been popular in his surroundings in a village or in a, uh, amongst the neighbors that particular person's name only attached to some other person he is so and so subaru's son he is so and so nageshwar's son she is so and so murthy's daughter likewise but these people uh, did not uh, have their original uh, names meaning here uh, they were not uh, 
uh, even call uh, with their own names means they did not have their own identity coming to women it was more and more had been absorbed in earlier times they were not at all identified with their names there was no identity at all for women so coming to this story writer p satyavati as concentrated how a woman lost her identity in spite of her educational qualifications in spite of her skills and talents and in spite of her wealth and status even how she had lost her identity she beautifully focused in this story in a theological point of view and uh, with a philosophical touch with a beautiful philosophical touch the writer has uh, focused a uh, women's uh, identity how it should be how it was uh, earlier and how it should be in the future she has beautifully uh, explains uh, explained uh, in this story so coming to this story here in this story what is my name the very title of the story gives us a hint what is my name can anyone ask themselves that what his name was what is uh, her name was no not at all but a person is asking herself what is my name means she herself forgot her name she herself lost her identity a person is identified with his or her name only her own name only but she has lost her name she has forgotten her name completely as she had forgotten her name here she went on asking to know she went on asking the people to know what is her name was what her name was see that this is a situation in this story so likewise in this story satyavati mem goes on writing a wonderful presentation is absorbed in this story here in this story a young woman was there before being a housewife she was a woman educated and cultured and intelligent and capable and quick witted and with a lot of sense of humor and elegance what not everything she has with her i am falling uh, for her beauty and intelligence in spite of her beauty and intelligence also she has uh, given dowry to she offered dowry also even to her husband so after offering dowry here that particular man uh, young man tied three sacred knots around her neck and uh, he made her uh, a housewife to the household so when she has uh, been made as a housewife to the household when she has become a wife to that young man so that fine morning the young man says to her look amadu this is your home look amadu this is your home so the young man who tied three sacred knots attached around her neck making her a housewife to the household he appreciates uh, this uh, woman saying that look amado this is your home so at the very uh, listening of the dialogue uh, from her husband she pull the end of her sari and tucked it in the waist and uh, swabbed the entire house and decorated that uh, uh, entire house uh, and, uh, and decorated the floor with the uh, colorful mugulu which are called designs by looking at that uh, skillful work our husband uh, praises sir oh you are dexterous at swabbing the floor 
swabbing in the swabbing means here cleaning and washing so she praised her wife saying that she is dexterous she is very much skillful at swabbing the floor even more dexterous in drawing the mugulu you are you are even more dexterous more skillful more talented in even in drawing uh, mugulu and making designs sabash keep it up likewise the young man praised the housewife meaning his wife he said it all these things in english there and giving her a pat on the shoulder for her in appreciation he appreciated her a lot so overjoyed with this appreciation of uh, her husband she began living with the swabbing and she has uh, uh, made swabbing as the chief mission in her life she had, she had started feeling that swabbing is only the main uh, thing in her life as she was uh, appreciated by her husband in that task in that work so there on where she started scrubbing the house very regularly and she started keeping the house spotlessly clean at all the times and beautifully decorated it with multicolored designs that's how her life went on swabbing and scrubbing only has become swabbing and scrubbing only became very important uh, work in her life it has become a big mission in her life that is only the ultimate uh, mission it has become in her life so with the sumptuous and ceaseless supply of swabbing clothes and mugu baskets she has been very busy she has become very busy with the mugu baskets and uh, swabbing clothes every time every time whenever you see that she has been very busy using a mugu basket and uh, swabbing her clothes at all that itself has become her identity here swabbing and uh, making a mugulu or colorful designs cleaning the floor and everything like this so as this was the case here one day when she was uh, scrubbing the floor the housewife suddenly asked herself what she asked what is my name what is my name she questioned herself she wanted to know what her name was at the very sound of this question she was shaken aback she was shocked leaving the mopping cloth and mugu basket there itself standing near the window she was scratching her head and she lost her in her thoughts what is my name what is my name she went on asking herself suddenly when he had seen the house across the road to that house there was a name plate name board was there she had looked at that name board which went on uh, which bears a name like uh, mistress m suhasini ma phd principal some x college to that house uh, on a name plate this name was there mistress m suhasini ma phd principal some x college by looking at that board yes the house owner the owner of that house which is across the road as her identity she has been identified with her name itself because the name plate of that house bears her name like mr suhasini even with her educational qualifications in phd and also her working place where she is been working in so and so some is college like that she thought yes i too have a name no as a neighbor did as my neighbor had a name i should also have no but 
how could I forget like that? But no name at all. Even I don't know what is my name here. My name was not at all there anything. No question of uh, uh, being on a name plate to my house or nothing. But even I don't know what's my name here. Nobody has bothered about my name. What is this? This situation made her uh, think a lot. And also he himself, she himself uh, 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 thought in my scrubbing zeal I have forgotten my name. In my scrubbing zeal always I have been very much interested in swabbing and scrubbing the floor of my house and everywhere, keeping my house so clean with all decorations and all this and that. As I was very much immersed in this work here as it has become main mission in my life here, I forgot my name. What shall I do now? The housewife was perturbed. She was frightened. She was disturbed a lot. With this, her mind totally became restless. Her mind totally became restless here. Somehow or the other, she finished her, she finished her dobbing. Dobbing here, the act of spreading a substance, it has mud thicky, mud thickly substance she uh, is spreading on the floor of the house here. So again she started that work here. As she has been very busy, uh, meanwhile what happened, a maid servant, uh, a maid servant arrived. By looking at the maid servant also, uh, she started hoping that at least uh, the maid servant uh, might help her in knowing her name. So hoping so, she asked her maid servant, Look, am I, do you know my name? Look, am I, do you know my name? She asked her, her maid servant. Means even she had a maid to attend certain task at her home. But she is not generally satisfied with her work. She is very much satisfied if she goes on attending her works herself only. So that's the reason here. When uh, on the particular day when the maid servant came to her house, she hoped a lot. She expected that even her maid servant would uh, tell her name. So that's why she made an inquiry of her name. Even she asked it, look Amai, do you know my name? She asked. Then the maid servant reacted, responded, What is it, Amma? said the girl, maid servant. What do we have to do with names of mistresses? What do we have to do? What what we sh what, what is the need for her? What is the need for us to know about your names, to know the names of mistresses like you? You are only a mistress to us. Means maid servant says that she would, uh, she doesn't bother about her name actually. But what is need uh, uh, of knowing her name? So, what is Amma? Amma, what do we have to do with your names? Nothing is there to do. So you are, you, you are uh, mistress is like you are all, you are simply a mistress to us. People like you all uh, mistresses to us. That's all. What is there? No need of knowing your name for us. We are in the habit of calling you a mistress. That's all. Amma, Amma, Amma Garu like that in Telugu. So likewise we are in the habit of calling you. What is the use of knowing your name? Amma, like that maid servant replied. And also simply we, we, we call you that uh, she is so and so mistress of such and such a white storey's house. Ground floor means you that sir. So, so she is a mistress who is living in a white storey's house. Like that, that's all. She explained. Yes, it's true. How can you know poor thing? It is a poor thing. Other here, housewife says that it is a poor thing. I don't know. Her name is poor thing in her opinion. That's why he says, Yes, how can you know that? It's a poor thing. You don't know. As usual, it is natural to say that you don't know my name. Likewise, she thought. Housewife thought. So meanwhile, as she was thinking and as she was uh, with these sort of uh, thoughts, the children came home.
from school for lunch in the afternoon and looking at the children. She expected that at least my children would uh, tell my name. So likewise, again, she will also ask her, her children. Look here, children. Do you know my name? Again, she will ask. Then, suddenly at this question of her mother, children were taken aback. They were shocked and surprised and replied, What is it? Your Amma? Your name is Amma only. Ever since we were born, we have known only this Amma. And also coming to this, the letters, any letters we get, the letters come or only in father's name. Because everyone calls him by his name, we know his name. Everyone call our father by his name. That's why we know the name of our father. How can we know your name? Your name had been never called by anybody. What mom? Your mom only for us. Your mom only for us. You never told us even your name. You yourself never told us even your name. How can we come to know that about your name? You don't even get letters addressed to your name. So far so many letters we got from various places, from our relatives, friends and whatever it may be there. No single letter has come with your name. All it is came only with our father's name only. So how can we come to know your name? Simply children replied to her like this. Yes, who will write letters to me? Housewife thought. Father and mother are there but uh, they only make phone calls once in a month. Once in a month or two, my father and uh, sisters uh, would make uh, phone calls. Even sometimes my sisters are immersed with swabbing their houses also, even there, 